Here we have a book everyone is jealous of, Movies in 15 Minutes, which I paid about as much for as I paid for the shipping because I had to order it from Amazon UK. Um, clamp, clamp, gravitation, novel, and battle royale, which is also one of my favorite books. I love it. It's 1984 meets Quentin Tarantino or something. Highly recommend it. A Bill Cosby book. I don't remember if I read this one, but you know, anything by Bill Cosby is good. Is Kristen Chenoweth biography, which I also haven't read yet, but I got it at a Borders because they were going out of business or something. Um, Isaac Asimov's Book of Facts, haven't read, library book sale. A thing of guitar chords, because I played the guitar so much. Book sale, haven't read, book sale, haven't read. Book sale, haven't read, book sale, haven't read. Book sale, have read. 100 Malicious Little Mysteries. Their books, oh, selected by Isaac Asimov. There's love, Isaac Asimov. Isaac Asimov is like my favorite writer ever. I mean it this time. It's like the third time I've said it's my favorite ever. But anyways, um, these were like really short stories and like all sorts of mysteries as the title would imply. It was incredible. Best dollar I ever spent. Um, one of these Uncle John's bathroom books. I have it because my Aunt Mary and Uncle John got it for me. They thought it would be funny. Um, couple Dave Barry. Dave Barry does Japan and Big Trouble. Dave Barry is another of my favorite writers. Um, these are some of my picture logic puzzle things. I have three books worth. I have an anthology of drama and theater, which was from the class, but it has like full plays in there, so I'm not getting rid of that. I have a statistics book because I'm a nerd. Um, I have these French for Cats books books that my grandma got me probably from garage sale um let's see i have a few readers digest because i keep them when it's yeah beetles paul mccartney paul mccartney that's tv guy actually um dave barry audiobook library book sale um graveyard book audio from that i got for school um learning japanese cassette tapes which were probably a library book sale um, writings of C.S. Lewis, which I got at Borders because it was a bargain book. Origami stuff here. At the top is a book of mazes. A couple little Bibles and then a stack of photo albums. What do I have down here? In these boxes, which you can't see, but you know, you can take my word for it. They're comic books. Over here are my magazines, which are mainly more logic puzzles and library stuff and Game Informer. Um, so I, over to the comics, the ones that aren't actually away, we have the Guild and V for Vendetta, but there's all sorts of anime and manga in there, and a few like Tomb Raider and stuff. Up here we also have, let's see if I can remember how to turn on the light actually. Now I remembered how to turn on the light, I should have done that a while ago. I have Beatles Anthology, which I started to actually read. I think I got through like two chapters. I have the entirety of the Left Behind series. And I have most, if not all, of the kids. I think that's all of them. I have this series. It was a Christian young adult series. I don't know how to explain it. I liked it though. Um, while we're here, I might as well show you. I have every yellow submarine figure there was. I have a yellow submarine plate back there. I have a bunch of Rabune bottles, and this is just the ones that weren't packed previously. I have a Beatles candle. I have a Lugia that I got with my Soul Silver. And I have Shiva from Final Fantasy X. Um, and I think that's really it for things on my bookshelf that I don't have to dig for. So, you know, there's that. Hope you enjoyed it. Here's another view so you can actually see now that I remembered there's a light on this camera. Um, so yeah, next I will see you on Wednesday.